Court warming is coming up, and that means the court needs to be selected. We'll have more coming up. On today's broadcast, we'll have wrestling results. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Morgan Parsons. Today is Thursday, January 9th, 2014. And here are today's news and announcements. Nominations were made for court warming royalty yesterday at lunch. The court consists of senior king and queen candidates and princes and princesses from the junior, sophomore, and freshman classes. We'll have more info on the candidates on our next show. Students, don't forget that the administration is offering incentives for those of you who have good attendance. If you are absent two or less days and have ten or less tardies from the beginning of the semester through the end of the year, your name will be entered in a drawing to win various prizes, like ice cream cones, TVs, Chromebooks, and even iPads. Students who miss one day or less or, and have five or fewer tardies will have their name entered twice in the drawing. It could happen to you, like it happened to Colin Eccles, who won a TV, or Frank Lappet, who took home an iPad Mini, or even Emily Crozier, who now has her very own Chromebook. So be here for your education and a chance to win some bonus prizes. Atten <clears throat> Attention seniors, the letter regarding how you want your name on the diploma must be turned in by 3 p.m. this Friday. The diplomas will be off ordered next week. If you don't receive the yellow letter in the mail, there are extra copies in the office for you to complete. The local scholarship applications are available to seniors at fortosagehs.sharpschool.net. Go to the parent slash student drop down menu, select the high school counseling tab, and then click on the local scholarship information link. From there, you can find the applications. All applications must be typewritten and turned into the counseling center no later than February 7, 2014 at 2.25 p.m. No exceptions. The deadline to register for the February 8th ACT test is this Friday. Go to www.actstudent.org forward slash start to register. Use the Fort Osage code 261-507 and the Fort Osage test center code 223-530. The Fordos Got Talent competition is coming January 24th. You can still audition on January 13th and 14th in the high school's choir room from 3 to 5.30. Grades K through 12, staff, and alumni are allowed to compete. The competition will be January 24th at 7 p.m. in the high school's Performing Arts Center. Prizes will be awarded in the K through 5th grade, 6th through high school, and staff and alumni categories. More information will be available on Facebook at Osage Community Group DI. Now here's today's sports report. The Indian Wrestling Squad took on Lee Summit North Tuesday night. The varsity team won 39 to 30. Victories came from Jesse Reeser, Joshua Barnes, Nicholas Wiley, Chris Bartlett, Gunnar Haney, Colin Divers, Kyle Larson, and Jesse Jeffries. The JV team won 51 to 12. Winners included Carter Bueller, Drew Wartz, David Chestnut, Sam Ramsey, Lane Spillman, Austin Dunham, Isaiah Banks, Kyle Dickmeyer, and Bryce Broughton. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, the boys freshman basketball team hosts Truman tonight at five, while the girls freshman team travels to Truman to begin tournament play. The girls, varsity, and JV basketball teams take on Oak Park at home tonight. The JV game begins at 5.30, and the varsity game tips off at 7. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great Thursday.